think it's an interesting question. Um, and I would reframe it. I, I'm, I'm not going to answer should they be accountable for their advice. Uh, but I think they should definitely be held accountable for their ideas. And I think there, is, there are sufficient grounds for questioning some of the fundamental ideas that underpin the current economic paradigm. So the, I'd, I'd start first with the idea of, of inequality and global inequality. So for me, the profession of economics, if you were to take it from a macro level, its predominant focus should be on econ global economic convergence. Uh, in the way that we have in the pandemic, no one's going to get out of this until we're all out of it. As long as the virus continues somewhere in the world, it's going to be a threat to everyone. Yeah. As long as poverty and inequality, you know, very severe inequality and, and severe poverty are in places in other parts of the world, it's going to give rise to extremism. It's going to give rise to huge human suffering. Yeah. So for me, and going back to the idea of the, the morality or immorality of economics, yeah, that's something that the current framing, which isn't immoral, allows as an externality, or certainly doesn't take as its primary focus. So I think convergence is an idea. Why is economics not focusing in an emergency situation as we are with a pandemic of making sure that we get economic thinking and systems and tools for having economic convergence, global economic convergence. I think the second one in terms of economists being held accountable for their ideas, I think we've touched on already, the idea of what counts as externalities. Um, and that is being challenged now, although it hasn't, you know, mainstream economics isn't, is beginning to bring it, take it on board. So the externalities of environment, but one I think that hasn't, maybe the pandemic is going to, to, to cause a bit of rethinking on this, but the externality of care. You know, it has turned out in the pandemic that, you know, that the, sorry, the essential workers who are by no means the best paid were actually turned out to be the most essential in society. But in many cases, they're externalities. And, and then the third one, in terms of economic economists being held accountable for their ideas, we've touched on already that what, what economics tells us about what it means to be human and what it is to live a good life. And I think it's much beyond material well-being. 